we're going to have. Uh... So sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Friday, and so we usually have a pet on the set, but we have two other lovely guests here today. They're going to tell us more about the Bark in the Park event that's actually happening to benefit the Midland Humane Coalition. So thank you so much, Rachel, for being here this morning. And I'm so excited to learn more about how the Rock Hounds yes. are actually giving back to the shelter. Yes, we are so excited. So this coming Sunday is Bark in the Park. Mm -hmm. So you can bring your best furry friend out to the ballpark and watch a game. Uh, the game is at 2 p.m. Okay. Gates open at 1.30. Um, so you can come by the stadium at any time and purchase your tickets or you can call us mm -hmm. um, and then just come and have fun. That sounds like such a fun event. And so for people who may not be familiar, Bark in the Park, you bring your dogs in with you. Um, do they have to be on their leashes? Is there a limit to what kinds of dogs are allowed there? Um, we don't really limit the dogs. Just make sure, you know, bring your dog on a leash, mm -hmm. uh, well-behaved dogs. You know, you don't want a crazy dog out in the uh, ballpark. So <laughs> true, true. just, you know, uh, be respectful of other people. And we have a section that we are blocking off for people with dogs. Perfect. So, and then we also have our water stations. So we are all set and ready for you guys. And so with these tickets, I'm assuming that some of the proceeds will go back to the Midland Humane Coalition, correct? Um, no, we are actually just partnering with Rock Counts. The Midland Humane Coalition okay. is and they've allowed us to organize a lot of it, invited out um, some other rescues, mm -hmm. um, other pet-loving businesses in town. Nice. Soul's pit crew will be there taking photos. Teresa Tuttle, Dogs in Action, she's a local trainer, will be there. Um, pet Wants, and then um, some of the other rescues will have um, animals up for adoption, and mm -hmm. we will be bringing some animals from the adoption center oh, nice. um, to meet yes. possibly their new forever home, forever family. I love that. And then that. we are yeah. selling um, limited edition uh, baseball t shirts. Okay. The proceeds from this will go back to the Millen Humane Coalition to help nice. out dogs and cats. That is so awesome. Yes. And what better way to kick this event off than doing it at a ballpark? Yes. I mean, that'll be so much fun. And so, will there be any activities for the dogs there? Um, yeah, so, I mean, we just have the game that's going on mm -hmm. and then the water station and treats and all that fun stuff. And then all of our on-field games are going to be um, themed, dog-themed. Okay. So we're going to have, like, you know, look-alike, Rocky, you know, um, best smile Aww. for the dogs. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to have our MC up with Tasha and showing all the dogs that um, are up for adoption and that the people there can adopt. And so how many years have you done this? Um, so this is my first year here doing it, but okay. we've done it for the past couple years with this organization. That's so. fantastic. And yes. are, are these events usually pretty successful with people actually adopting the pets that you bring? Or Yeah, I have heard they're very successful. This all too, also is my first year doing it. So okay. yes. Rachel and I nice. teamed yes. up, excited yes. first year. <laughs> That's awesome. We've yes. had fun planning. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really excited for Sunday. Weather looks great. Um, right, it does. So. It looks pretty gorgeous out there. And I'm so excited about this event. I mean, it's, it's such a great way to get out and not only see a baseball game, but if you are looking for a pet to adopt, maybe see if the right one for yeah, you new yes. friends in a baseball field. Yes. I love that. Well, thank you so much for being thank in our you. studio this morning. Thank you for